everyone. So today we're going to do another how-to drawing. So I saw this really cute picture on Pinterest because I love Pinterest um, and it was a seahorse that was a unicorn. I don't know what you'd call that. A seahorse corn. I don't know. A sea unicorn. I don't know. But I thought we would try and draw it. So if you're interested, keep watching. Um, I'm doing all of my how-to drawings here in my upper grades. I put all of them in my sketchbook. So if you were second through fifth, you should have made a sketchbook already. And that's where I'm putting all of my how-to drawings, okay? So that's where you can draw yours if you want to. Now, if you want to draw along, you need crowns and paper, okay? Now, you need your paper nice and tall. It doesn't need to be laying. It needs to be standing nice and tall because our seahorse is tall, okay? So what you're going to do to start with is you are going to start with its head, okay? You want to start with its chin. So what we're going to do is we're going to curve up and around, okay? Curve up and around, almost like an S without putting the top on it, okay? You're going to You're going to take your line that you've drawn and you're going to curve up and then around. All right. Now, you may make yours a little bit wider than I made mine like this. Maybe that'll look a little bit better. Okay. So, just some curved lines right now and these are called organic lines which means that they're curvy they're not sharp and pointed so now we have to do his tail so what we're going to do we're going to come down and we're going to curve it around and that's his tail or her tail and then we're going to jump up here after you've done his curly tail i'm going to come up here i'm going to go out for his belly and we're going to curve back up to his chin. And we're going to connect it, okay? So I've got my lines connected. Now, my face might be a little big. So I'm going to fix it to make it look better. Yeah, sometimes I forget that my whiteboard isn't that big. So that looks a little bit better, more um, correct size wise. All right, now what you need next is we're going to add a line for its belly. We're going to give him a little fin so it can swim. I'm going to do some bumps down his neck. I'm going to give it an eye, make this a circle, a smiley mouth, and then the most important part, the unicorn horn. So my unicorn horn is going to go off the edge of my whiteboard. You won't be able to see all of it because I made my unicorn too big. So I've got it on up there. And what I need is some lines going up like that okay and now what you need to do is you need to decorate your picture okay is your sea unicorn rainbow colors is each stripe a different color or each bump a different color or spine down its back all right so you decide and then color it in okay I've got my greens I'm gonna move on to blues next so I'm going to make sure that I have it all colored in and it's beautiful. And then you need to work on the background after you have it all colored in. So you could add some wavy lines to make it look like he's in the ocean. You could add a baby sea unicorn. You could add some fish. Okay, so I've got giant fish. You could add a shark. 
You could do some seaweed down here at the bottom. Do a starfish. Uh, you could even draw a castle because if this is a sea unicorn, it's got to be really special. Okay, so you figure out what your sea unicorn looks like, what colors it has, or where it lives at, and then draw it and color it. Okay, and if you know of anything else that you want to learn how to draw, let me know and I will be happy to do a video on it. All right, bye.